Yeah, okay, three, two, one, go. Hi, welcome back to Fox News. We have some important news. Aliens have taken over Earth. We got to evacuate to Mars. Get all your stuff. Run! <laughs> <laughs> from our friendly friend, Liam Baird. He was brutally attacked by aliens. And if you want to survive, we have to move to Mars, to this. This is a place where there's cafeterias, houses, swimming pool, basketball, and much more. Let my assistant tell you more about that. <laughs> I don't know. You guys are just beautiful well, as you saw. Our friend Liam got destroyed by an alien. That looks oddly familiar to this person right here. Well, never mind that. Since we have to move to Mars, we need we need a lot of equipment to prepare for this. So, things we need are like cafeteria, houses, oxygen source, food. Let my assistant that looks oddly familiar to the alien explain it. Uh, we have cafeteria, pool, we have animals, we have solar panels, no grass, unfortunately, and we are very, like, close to the sun. So, uh... It's very hot here. Yeah, it's a warm climate, like Florida or California. But time is 2000. Yeah. Uh, we have air, air conditioning and homes, and we have a big oh. cafeteria. Oh, yeah, we also have that big plant that's literally bigger than ever. Oh, yeah, yeah, we have this huge tree that has, like, a little flower thingy. I, I don't know if you can see it or not on our board uh -uh. here. No, it's quiet. Achilles turn. So. I cannot guarantee that you might not get burnt, but... There's still a chance that you might live. Yeah. Like a zero percent. It's a great place if you like sunbathing. Yeah. Except if you want to get like degree burnt weather. But. Sir, would you like to say anything? Nope. That's all for this podcast. As you can see, we have a lot of lovely facilities, and I'm going to be explaining more about it. So basically, we have our nice, lovely cafeteria, which we eat in, and we also. So we have all of our meals. We have breakfast, we have lunch, we have dinner, and we have snacks. Um, and we have animals that produce us um, with food. They produce food for us, such as cows, pigs, uh, and chickens, and much more, as you can see up there. Um, yeah, we also have a lot of houses and apartments. You'll see um, all of these little uh, square things that look that look like little squares. They are our houses and apartments because this is our top view. And you can go on the roof, actually. Like, like we said, you can sunbathe. And so, yeah. But so um, our apartments go up to about 20 stories. So, and like there's about like 130 rooms on each floor. So, so there's a lot of space for people to move in. So you ask us, how are we gonna get air? We have a humongous bean plant right there that produces so much oxygen, oxygen it's more than earth. We also have pools, so we don't get um, dehydrated. Dehydrated, and we also have a basketball court where if you're up for some zero gravity ball, you can do that. Yeah, the basketball court is with LeBron James, Michael Jordan, so you can hang out with them. Oh, there's also a Republic building where we decide what we what our laws are gonna be on Mars. We haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> for a cafeteria, we have Chef Gordon Ramsay cooking magnificent food for us. Our world leader is Scrooge McDuck, because he has a lot of money and he can fund all of our projects. We can hold about one billion people in this facility, and there are thousands of them. All over the surface of Mars. And, there, and we also have a bunch under the surface that we can't show you. You have to be a member to actually see what's underneath. Who created this, you say? Space Y. <laughs> nope, not SpaceX, Space Y. By Elon Tusk. Yes. So, we have 
for water, how we get water, do you ask? Well, we have this nice machine that pulls water up from Mars, and it gets converted into a big bucket that everyone goes to at night, and they fill up jugs of water that they have inside their homes, which is how we get our water. Now, for cars, you may ask, how do we get around instead of walking? We have a speedmobile, which is a single passenger ride, and it goes super fast, up to 60 miles an hour. Not safe for children, actually. And then we have our slow little taxi buses. They're just two-story buses with a lot and lot and a lot of seats, which just get you around the city. Wherever you need to go, we got you. Um, they, you can find them in any color, actually. You can find them in red, blue, pink, periwinkle, crimson, maroon, purple, any color, we have it. Now I'm going to talk about Basements. We have basements at the bottom of every single apartment. Every apartment has a basement which has um, all of our laundry machines in it. So unfortunately, um, you have to walk down to the laundry room. Now, now, we're going to talk about how we get our animals. How do we get our animals? Well, actually, they start out from eggs, if you didn't know. So, basically, from Earth, we go there every once in a while. We go to Earth every once in a while with our top 2,000 police officers who go to Earth every two weeks and grab eggs from all the chickens and pigs and, and cows. And then we plant it in our lovely soil, which we plant them by our, by our tree. And then they grow. Well, since we might get air from our plant, but that isn't good air. Like, it still has a bunch of carbon dioxide in it. So we go over to our little friend down here called the Moxie. What the Moxie does is it takes bad air, AKA carbon dioxide, and turns it into good air, AKA oxygen. Oh, really? Yes. Do you mind explaining how it works, Liam? Sure. So, since Mars is mostly, or s some, carbon dioxide, the carbon dioxide goes through the Moxie and comes out in air, known as ox oxygen. Back to you, Jack. All right, well, I think that's all for this amazing Mars mission. Well, if we ever do have an alien invasion, we'll be ready. Space Y, Elon Tusk.